Welcome to another edition of Daily Hope from Victory Lutheran Church here in Mesa, Arizona. I'm Pastor Susan Westland, and I want to thank you for sharing part of your day with us. As we get started, I encourage you to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel, helping us to spread the hope of Jesus in the world. This past weekend, we sang one of my favorite contemporary worship songs. It's called Who Am I? by, Ca by the Christian group Casting Crowns. The song opens with this question, Who am I that the Lord of all the earth would care to know my name, would care to feel my hurt? Who am I that the bright and morning star would choose to light the way for my ever-wandering heart? Have you ever been there, wondering if the Lord of all the earth knows your name? Ever wonder if God feels your hurt or knows your pain? Boy, I have. And in fact, as we sang this song, I was thinking about the fact that at this time right now, so many of the folks in my life are asking if God is even still up there or does he even care about us anymore? If you've ever felt that way, then know you are not alone. See, the Bible teaches us that when the first humans sinned, the relationship between God and his children was broken. And ever since then, we've been asking, where are you, God? Do you still love me? Do you know our names? You know, it feels like I start asking those kinds of questions when I'm going through a tough time in life. And when I do begin to ask them, so grateful God comes and reminds me just how intimately he knows me. He does this by directing my attention to Psalm 139. If you've ever read this powerful psalm, you will discover that not only does God know your name, but he's the very one who created you, not by accident or because of some cosmic mistake, but God created you purposefully, deliberately. In fact, Psalm 139 tells us, you made my whole being. You formed me in my mother's body. You saw my bones being formed as I took shape in my mother's body. When I was put together there, you saw my body as it was formed. All the days planned for me were written in your book before I was one day old. Think about that. And if you are in a place in your life right now where you are feeling insignificant or invisible to God, then please know that God sees you. He hears you. He cares about you. Not only that, but as the Bible tells us in John 3.16, God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. So who are you that God cares to know your name? You are his child, made in his image, formed by the very fingers who made the moon and the star, all because God, the God of all creation, couldn't think about spending eternity without you being with him. Let's pray. Dear Lord Jesus, there are so many times when we need to hear the sound of your voice. And I know that out there, the people that are hearing the sound of my voice today, some of us are asking, are you still there? Do you hear us? Do you see us? Do you know us? And when we're crying out like that, wondering if you, the God of all the universe, still sees us, Help us to be reminded that not only do you see all of our brokenness and not only do you see all of our sins, but despite of who we are, you love us. You know, Jesus, these questions haunt us when they come. So today, please hear us as we cry out, asking you to love us, to rescue us, to heal us from the hurt and the pain this world brings us. Do it not because of who we are, do these things not because of who we are or the fact that we deserve it, but heal us and love us and do these things because of who you are. You are our Savior. You died on the cross to save us. So Lord Jesus, come and give us rest. 
Give us peace today, we pray in your holy and precious name. Amen. Well, thank you again for joining us today as we pause to reflect on God's daily hope for our lives. And again, I invite you to help us spread this message of hope to other people in the world by hitting the like and the subscribe button. Also, I'd love to hear from you, so please leave me a comment below and let me know how things are going for you. And may God bless your day and keep you in his loving care.